What is up, YouTube? Fluttershy RLC, back with another Madden 15 online game. This is actually a subscriber game that I played, and this guy, he wanted to play normal teams, so I was like, alright, man, let's do it. I'm rocking, of course, my Kansas City Chiefs. He's got the Carolina Panthers. Look at Jamal Charles. He's got some room down the sidelines. Jamal Charles doing what only Jamal Charles can do. First play, and he scores a huge touchdown there. Wow, that's a... Uh, that's a uh, that's a pretty good way to get the game started, man. You know, you know me, man. I love Jamal Charles. Me, me personally, I think he's the best running back in the NFL right now. No Shady, no Demarco Murray, no AP, no Le'Veon Bell. It's all Jamal Charles. Anyways, guys, my opponent. He's got the Panthers. He's might be a Panthers fan. I don't know, but I got the Chiefs, of course. I love my Chiefs. I'm always going to play with my Chiefs. Uh, so we're definitely going to have to see how this game goes. You know, it's just a friendly subscriber game. Just, you know, just going to play, mess around. You know, not really not really caring too much, but, you know, whatever. Uh, so right now, he's already moving down the field. He had a really nice uh, play with Greg Olson. Got him down in, a, in some good position here to make something happen. And, oh, almost had that pick. He's trying to get back up. He gained some yards down to about the 16 or the 18, excuse me. Let his run game get stuffed right there, man. That that's one thing about the Chiefs' defense. Now, if you choose, if you pick the Chiefs, you play an online game with the Chiefs. Their run game or their run stuff game is actually really, really, really good. Their pass game may not be that good. Uh, Sean Smith in, in this game is very underrated. Eric Berry in this game is also, I think, uh, underrated or at least like you know the the online version of of Madden 15. Um, you know, definitely a little bit underrated, but definitely. Poe, Holly, Houston, Johnson, Mays, uh, DeVito, uh, who else? Um, Alan Bailey, definitely uh, the front seven for the Chiefs definitely is deadly and very tough to stop. So he ties the game, and of course, when you play with the Chiefs, you, you kind of got to cheese a little bit with Jamal Charles. Jamal Charles has to be your go-to guy because you got to think about it. And of course, I have Terrell Pryor in there because he's a lot faster than Alex Smith. <laughs> um... But see, with the Chiefs, you don't have a lot of receiving threats. Sure, you kind of got Travis Kelsey. He, he's a big body. He can really, um, you know, jump up for balls, and he can get in the way of defenders. Uh, Dwayne Bowe. And we fumble it right there, but nah, man. He's down. He's got to be down. He's down. I know he's down um, as we pick our play. And uh, the booth challenges it. It is overturned, so we still get the ball back. Uh, but like I was saying, definitely you got to use Jamal Charles because you don't really have any really any real receiving threats. You, I mean, Dwayne Bow in this game, I guess. But other than Dwayne Bow, you got who like Donnie Avery. Um, there's that one guy. Uh, I can't remember his name right now, but you know he's. I don't think he's actually on the roster. And look at this user pick by DJ Derek Johnson. Um, and so anyway, so I mean, pretty much you just gotta really rely on the run game. Jamal Charles, Niall Davis, D'Anthony Thomas, you know, again, you know, you just got to rely on the run game. And of course, Travis Kelsey, he's of course always going to be there too. Terrell Pryor already having a pretty good day, but still trying to run the ball here. Niall Davis uh, gets stuff there. Now the Panthers, their defense, definitely their linebackers is something you definitely got to watch out for. Thomas Davis, Luke Keekley, of course, you know me and Luke Keekley. Me and Luke Keekley don't really get along. Luke Keekley doesn't like me, or at least when I play against him. Um, so really quick, we go up 21-7, to and he gets ball at half, I believe, I mean, you know, if I remember correctly. Um, so he gets ball at half. That will help him. He definitely has to score right here if he wants any chance of maybe trying to come back in this game, because if he doesn't score here, then he's still going to be down by a touchdown. Uh, but against me, anything's possible. Anything can happen. A nice throw absolutely burns Ron Parker. And again, that's what I'm talking about. The Chiefs secondary in this game. Not very good at all. Uh, you can see there's just a little bit of lag. Um, but D'Anthony Thomas is going to take this one out of the end zone. I don't know why we're doing this, but we are. D'Anthony Thomas, he's got some room to run. Look at this. Down the sidelines, no one's going to get him. That's what, like a hundred and that's like a 112-yard touchdown? Like how far is it from the goal line to the back of the end zone? Uh, so a huge, long touchdown, 28-14. to 14. He gets the ball now at half. Now he's got to make something happen and definitely getting sacked by the sack leader, Justin Houston. Definitely isn't going to help, but uh, still, man, he's going deep, and we almost get the pick with Hussein Abdullah. Again, my players, they smack balls instead of catch balls, <laughs> and oh, look at that. He threw off Justin Houston like he was nobody, man. Just threw him off. Again, Hussein, what you doing smacking balls for, man? You need to be catching those balls. <laughs> um... So, man, um, this game was actually kind of old. I'm actually surprised. This was maybe like a month ago or something. And, well, wow, okay, Marcus Cooper. Okay, we're smacking balls apparently again. Uh, but we get the ball back anyways. Jamal Charles on the outside. And now we're up by three touchdowns. This game looking now, I didn't dive to, like, showboat on him. I dove because I wanted to make sure I actually got into the end zone. Because you know with those glitchy, you know, um, conservative tackle animations. Um, so, you, so you just never know. So right now we're up by three touchdowns. But look at this. Look at this, the option. Oh, or... Not the option, the Wildcat. Jonathan Stewart, a nice run there, man. He's he's going to this Wildcat a lot, and we're not really stopping it too well, so I don't blame him for going it. Look at that. 
Ty Turner, an absolute pancake block on my dude, man. He just laid him out. And again, going back to the Wildcat, three straight plays. This time, he's going to be brought down for a loss by Tom Bahali, man. That beastly right end for the Chiefs. Uh, and again, Marcus Cooper smacking balls instead of catching balls. Um, so again, we're trying to keep him from scoring. He's trying to see if he can't salvage. Now again, with the one extra minute, because you know, because it's online, because it's like five minute quarter instead of four, he still has a chance. And he's gonna have to have a lot of things go his way if he wants a chance to win. And uh, that helps him bouncing off three of my defenders to get to the end zone. Goes for an onside kick. He doesn't get it. Ron Parker picks it up. And Parker, he's gonna try to see if he can't make something out of this. Look at Ron Parker, man. He's he's going down the sidelines. He's not gonna get a touchdown here. But it was it was still a pretty good effort trying <laughs> trying to see if he if he could do anything. We are putting a little bit of a better position here on offense and again rolling out the pocket and we got oh Derek Rogers now he's six foot three um he's like he's maybe like a 71 overall but hey man he's six foot three and that you know that can actually really make a difference uh, in the game so now we're up by three touchdowns again 42 to 21 going in again we're smacking balls why you smack balls for guys come on I mean I swear we we should have like seven interceptions by now but no because we smack balls we don't catch balls whatever um, so yeah, so anyways guys, so how have you guys been? You know, I feel like, uh, you know, I haven't really been communicating with my subs as much. Uh, just, you know, I just want to, I just want to take this time to ask how you guys are doing. Let me know in the comments. How is your, uh, if you're on summer vacation, tell me, how's your summer vacation going? Are you doing anything fun? You planning anything fun? Doing any fun vacations? Doing anything with your family? Just, just tell me what's going on in your lives. I really want to hear, I want to see what you guys are doing for the summer vacation. Uh, so again, just, you know, let me know in the comments and I'll, and I'll, and I'll read all of them. Um, you know, and if you're saying that you're going to go to a Oakland Athletics game and root against the Chiefs or <laughs> root against the Royals uh, I might have to ban you from my channel no man I'm kidding I'm kidding but hey but again in all seriousness just you know just I, I just want to know what you guys are doing for your summer vacation what you guys are doing where you guys are going uh, you know just just trying to communicate and so he gets a touchdown and he's only down by two touchdowns now so now he needs this onside kick which he's not going to get because Kels is going to pick it up but he you know I guess he if he gets a quick turnover um, if we're stupid enough to pass the ball, which of course we are, um, so if he gets a quick turnover here, this game can change big time. And that, oh, uh oh, that's exactly what he got. And I did, I was not doing that on purpose. Uh, he just got that uh, touch, uh, that interception with Roman Harper. So now a minute to go, and he's got to make something happen now. He still has all three of his timeouts, which does help him a little bit. Uh, of course, we're offside. I don't know how we're offside. I don't even mess with the defensive lineman, but I guess maybe it was when I audible. And Hussein Abdullah gets absolutely burnt, and now he's only down by one touchdown. He has all three of his timeouts, and of course, that's not even going to matter. He's just going to decline it. He's still a touchdown. Justin Houston, I, I, I don't get it, but whatever. No, he has a chance. Can he get this? Oh, he can't. Donnie Avery picks it up. But can he possibly get, like, a turnover or something? Can he get something? Um, so he needs a turnover to get back into this game, man. We're being stupid and still passing the ball. I don't know why we're not just running the ball. And we're going to slide down. That's pretty much going to end the game there. He still decides to take his timeouts for some reason. Uh, as Jamal Charles around the end. And that's pretty much going to end the game, man. GG to my opponent. It was actually a really fun game. You know, he actually came back there late in the game. I was being stupid. I was doing some stupid stuff. And he, you know, he just he took advantage of it and he pounced on it. Um, so anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this Madden 15 online game. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy. And I'll see you on the next one. I'm Fluttershy. Peace out. Have a great day.